Welcome and good morning to another edition of the Friday Morning Commute and my bow tie is completely off there. Uh, let's see here. That looks a little bit better. Anyways, hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday, Friday so far. Mine is going rather swimmingly. I'm actually headed up to work right now. A little bit late, but eh, not too bad. Could be worse. Could be worse. It'll hopefully get me in time. Work to time. Work in time for the meeting that I'm only going in for. So, other than that, hope everyone's having a wonderful day. I know you're all curious as to what our wonderful Zurio's vendor has for us this week. Uh, it is year two, week 36, and Zur has for us for Titans the Glass House Helm, for Hunters Kepri Sting Gauntlets. For Warlocks, Sunbreakers Gauntlets. It's like the first time I've seen exotic gauntlets. I, I need to verify if these are a year one, move to year two. These are just like new for year two. We have the Universal Remote for everyone. So if you want to run double shotties, this is the way to do it. And then a Legacy Exotic Body Armor Engram for anyone still looking to get year one body armor without running year one raids or doing year one activities. This again is only for year one exotics and is weighted if I remember correctly towards exotics you currently do not own. So with that being said, if you don't need them, don't get them. You will be severely disappointed. Now looking forward or looking backward on the week, we had a couple fun things happen and sad. Chuck it to you here in a second. So, yesterday is this week at Bungie. Uh, they covered the King's Fall raid and what the developers, designers were all kind of all look at when creating a raid, creating this six-man activity in order to bring forth a challenge for our guardians and for us as players so that we will go back time and time again to play it as a way to get gear but also as a way to stay challenged. Good morning, LA. Now, I did not watch the King's Fall ride along because I had never done the King's Fall raid and... I didn't want to I didn't want to spoil the raid more than I kind of had by seeing small tidbits. I to be honest, I had never watched a full run through of the raid. I knew the checkpoints, but I did not know the specifics in a sense of the raid. That was until Wednesday night. So, let me give you a little bit of backdrop. Monday early morning, um, or Tuesday early morning actually, I, I happened to go and sit and lurk in Jay Sniperton's chat, and he's like, hey, we're going to do a raffle for a hard mode raid. Uh, it's going to be a speed run. Well, this is after I had spent a thousand coins for entries into the raffle. I'm like, oh, speed run, you probably don't want me, because at the time, my highest Xbox character was 296 light level. And so I was like, yeah, just ignore me if I get drawn. Sure enough, I'm the first name. I kid you not, the first name for the speed run. And he's like, "Oh, that's sad." Okay, hey Roman, we can do we can do one of two things. You can either get a refunded on your coins, or if you wait until after reset, you are guaranteed a spot in a raid run. I'm like, I need to run the raid. I haven't done it yet. Are you are you, are you sure you want to take a 296 through a hard mode? He's like, "Yeah, we can do it. It'll be it'll be fun." It's like, okay, we're going to do the guaranteed raid run because I need to do the raid. So the plan is for me to do it Wednesday evening, Thursday early morning, or uh, Tuesday evening, Wednesday early morning. Well, I get my times mixed up, stuff, and it just didn't happen. And no, I have not done raid on PS4. My highest PS4 character is like 260. I've done Vault of Glass. But I love Off the Glass. Oh, that is so much fun. Anyways, besides the point. So, Tuesday doesn't work out. Wednesday comes around. I'm like, okay, I, I need to do it today. I don't want to procrastinate any further. 
I'm sorry, honey, but this is something that I really want to do. Uh, that way, Jason Iperton doesn't have to worry about you know, making sure it's some random date in the future. Oh, yeah, I still do owe this guy that one thing. So, it also coincided that I got to run Vault of Glass on the PlayStation 4 that night with three or four other streamers. Uh, Kickle, Texas Leo, Mingling XO, Corey Ash, and then Kit's brother. So, my evening was full of raids Wednesday night. We did Vault of Glass, and then I snuggled with my wife a little bit, enjoyed watching some realty TV shows. Realty reality TV shows. Say that five times fast. And from there, it was about time for Jay Sniper to tend to start, about 1 a.m. I go, okay, honey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go do this raid. That way I can get it over with and not worry about it. So he gets on. He does the daily first, then he does the nightfall, and then he starts getting people for the raid. Well, about the time he finishes the nightfall and starts getting people ready for the raid, I'm helping my wife to bed. And so they're like, Doug, 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 where are you? Get in here. I'm like, I'm here, I'm here. I just helping my wife to bed. So we start, we run the raid. It's awesome. It takes about three hours. So I don't go to bed that night until about 5, 5.30 a.m. And I wake up two hours later to go to work. So yesterday was a very long day for me, but it was a lot of fun. And now having gone through the raid, I definitely think that it is a more enjoyable raid than Crota. The difficulty is there for... Uh, to be Vault of Glass level difficulty. But I don't know if it's the fact that Vault of Glass is the vanilla raid or if I've just run Vault of Glass enough to enjoy it more. But Vault of Glass is still a more enjoyable raid in my opinion over King's Fall. Now, not to say that King's Fall wasn't a lot of fun. I just find the mechanics in Vault of Glass, to, especially at the boss fight, to be better suited. See, even LA agrees with me. Still likes Bog better. Uh, I find the, the mechanics to be better suited towards ensuring team cohesion and team activity because you're literally forced in Vault of Glass to work together. You can't run Vault of Glass with less than three people. It just doesn't happen. Now, it's really hard to run Vault of Glass with three people, uh, especially year one. Year two, I'm sure it actually would be a great challenge to do. Especially since you have the gear, you have the armor, you throw up, show up with a Sun Singer or two and sleepers and you're having a cakewalk. But the thing is King's Fall doesn't quite have that same mechanic. Now, I will be honest, there is some difficulty running it solo. Uh, you know, for the War Priest, you have the aura and jumping the plates correctly. For the sisters, it's kind of the same thing. You have the runner with, torn between the dimensions. Golgoroth, you have his gaze. So, but I kind of saw what you're able to do with that. You could easily, I think, solo Golgoroth without too much hassle. Uh, it would be interesting. I kind of want to watch these solo run-throughs to see how they do it now. Then, let's see, War Priest, Golgoroth, Sisters, and then Oryx. So the Oryx fight, in my opinion, is perhaps one of the harder mechanics. It's definitely more harder than... Um, Oh, what's that term? Then, then Crota. 
it's close to the same difficulty as Alta Glass. But we'll see. I need to run it more. I need to run it on PlayStation as well. I need to get my Xbox character there up. So I'm excited that I finally been able to do it. Looking forward to doing it more. Crota was just way too easy. It, it's a strike. It's a multi-part strike. Now, moving forward, we also learned in the, this week at Bungie that there will not be Trials or Iron Banner this week or the end of the month until they fix a glitch. So, apparently rocket launchers with clown cartridge, if done correctly, will give you heavy ammo even after heavy round. Even if you die with the ammo. And this is unfortunate. This is a a bug that you normally don't, you, know, you hope to not happen. True, this isn't the worst bug that you've got. It's still no fun. And it's kind of sad. But they did tease the ride along with um, the fact that they are making another raid. And so that's going to be exciting to see in the future, especially this fall, what this new raid is going to be. Or is it going to be a raid for year 3 and Destiny 2? In any case, there's stuff ahead of us, and it's going to be exciting. I'm excited to finally have done some of the in-game content. Now I can actually do, like, Challenge of Elders and Prison of Elders and not feel, like, completely under-leveled. So, all in all, it was a, it's been a great week. I'm hoping to hopefully, you know, keep it going strong. I'll see y'all later. I'm at work now, which is sad. I was, I kind of was enjoying sharing my experiences with you and wanted to do it more. I faded recording the King's Fall raid to put up later, but I didn't think my computer had enough hard drive space to record three hours of video, and I didn't want to have to go edit three hours of video. So, again, thanks for stopping by, everyone. Hope you have a wonderful time. If you're watching this later. Please give me a subscribe on my YouTube channel. You can find it below. It's a button. Click the button. Click the button. Anyways, if you're here on Periscope, thanks for following. Give me a... You can follow me and see whenever I go live. See you, LA. Thanks for sticking around. You can also follow me on Twitter and Twitch, all under the same username of Rovendug. And I hope to see you, Starside Guardians. Have a great time, and hopefully next time we'll meet in... A team. See you, Guardians.